Alright, I know there's been a lot of discussion on this topic lately since it is tornado season. But for those out there, out there who know about Tornado Alley but don't exactly know why, today I'm going to explain that to you. Okay, so first to fully understand what this thing is, first you have to know where it is on the map. Here's a map of the United States, Pacific Ocean, of course, and Atlantic Ocean. Of Mexico, Iguchi. Okay, so right in the middle to Midwest part of the United States lies a part, an area called Tornado Alley, where it starts out down here in Texas, about mid, and then it comes up in da and then goes a little bit into Arkansas, goes through Joplin, of course, as we all remember, up to Springfield, and then down, doesn't include Kansas City, but goes out and around, and then goes up into Iowa for a slight bit, up to South Dakota, back down most of Nebraska, almost all of Kansas, and pretty much all except that little yeah. bit of this, Oklahoma. For some reason, this stupid thing, so this is it has to record itself over again, so it's recording my it video. Out. But it, Watch it. Well, first of all, because of the different air that travels here. <clears throat> so first, let's start out down here with just tropical air, and it's very humid, so warm more <coughs> air tornadoes. is going to be pushing it's up, that way. and it's not why, too why warm yet in tornado season, because it's when it is from it's late not. April to early June, but yeah, they can happen any shot. time of the year. Like this, the warm moist air pushes up this way, from the side of Texas and then up, then warm dry air from Arizona and New Mexico We'll push up this way. So now you have two forces pushing up, and then cold, drier from the north up here will come down and push, creating a little. This will end up coming down, creating a little rotation, and that is what causes the tornadoes. And that is not it. That is a big factor where nowhere else in the United States it really is. But also the land is. Fit and oh, built no, for tornadoes no. easily to form. Oh, it's broke a window. very flat, no mountains, and um, there's it's easy to form. Look, pretty low land and pretty flat and really pretty happen. straight. So what do you mean clouds can dangerous. come up on the plane. I mean, like you can drive a car here well, with the this heat. This is a small one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then whenever it the heat is big, it's a heat storm. Most tornadoes, it's only like two, three, five. It just creates circulation. Although this does create circulation, you know what kind of most tornadoes will start wedged around mm -hmm. in this area they get so and they will always they travel up. They may even start right. over here, but they won't the storm may start it, why, is the it storm may even start here, thing? but it will oh, go no, up no, and I it will finish it around good. here. Now, since I said tornadoes are easy to make, um, tornadoes easy to create storms. They're also easy to have storms. Like if they start here, it's easy for them to stop in Tornado Alley and have a tornado there. But also, they're very easy to make tornadoes here. So just think because you're out of Tornado Alley means you're safe. If you live anywhere like Kansas City or even maybe like someplace like Jefferson City, which just got hit. Um, probably not St. Louis, but like maybe even down here, around here. If if you live here, a tornado could form here and travel up. And scientists are saying that Tornado Alley, this is what it is right now. They're saying that it could expand all the way to include most of Missouri and most of Arkansas.